Hey, all you viewers, my name later. How are we doing today? I know, I know, huge freaking shock on this channel. Something by Gerber, right? I know, I know. It is kind of new. It is still a little bit brand new. I think it's the Ayako, Ayako. I, I don't know. I can never pronounce that dang thing. I really like getting these boxes by Gerber because, well, on the inside, you get neat messages at times. And surprisingly, that's not something from California telling you this is going to cause cancer. It's your limited lifetime warranty in the silica pack. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Now, uh, of course. Sorry, you would think I would have had that done beforehand. Well, there she is in her glory, all right? Yes, it has a very, very pronounced, like, little nail neck thumb hole here, whatever you want to call it. But when it's closed, you're really not going to be able to get to that thumb hole. And I'm going to show you why here in a moment. Now, this is a Japanese-inspired design for a folding blade. You can kind of see part of that, like, right down here on the scale itself. And not to mention the way it looks, it's got trademarks of, like, Japanese kitchen cutlery. All right, now she's got an overall length of about 8 inches. The blade is 3.5. Enclosed, she's 4.625. It has a pretty modest weight to it of 3.67 ounces. I mean, it feels really, really lightweight. Now, this is the part that kills me, okay? I went looking out there for information to see, like, the blade style. To me, that's a Tonto, all right? It just really, truly is with the aggressive curve up and back. But they're calling this, especially on Blade HQ, Blade style is standard. That doesn't look standard. It really doesn't. It looks tonto. But it's got a plain edge with a flat grind, and the blade steel is 7CR17MOV with a black oxide coating to help, you know, with the rust prevention, you know, erosion, all that other fun stuff. Now, it has a green aluminum scale on one side, you know, you can see, like, the stainless steel frame, which also has that, you know, coating on there to help protect it. It has a pretty aggressive frame lock that you can see right there. Now, this is what kills me. They're like, oh, it's a flipper, thumb hole, open. Where's the thumb hole? <laughs> Seriously, where's the thumb hole? Trying to get in there and get it open? It's got that weird little one, like, oh, God, the jukebox had. Now, speaking of that jukebox, take a look right up top. You're going to see a card for every single everyday carry affordable blade I've brought to the channel. You'll see my review of the jukebox up there. Now, I had to get taught how to open this thing. It takes like a little bit of a different way to get her going. You know, you, you move your thumb around to get it moving, and then you have to use like your finger to get it shut, especially with this one. If you guys know Gerber, they come like, and it has like a break in process which I've never truly understood on some of their blades. Now, there's only one way to carry it, which is right-hand carry, tip down, and yes, it is made in China. All right, <clears throat> now, let's have a little bit of fun and do the cut tests that we usually do. If you're brand new to my channel, we usually only do three, okay? So here's the first one, heavy-duty stock paper. Is that blade so robust? I try to keep getting a curly cue, but aha, there we go. Aha, got one. Not bad out of the box, but yes, it needs to be stropped. See all that? Okay, test number two is just usual paracord. All right, first one up is just the pull test. <clears throat> yeah, not happy there. That took more effort than it should have. And the slice test. Right through it. And our friend, Mr. Ratchet Strap. I know, I don't know why I'm calling him my friend because we cut him up every video. If I had a friend whose house I went to and he cut me every time, I wouldn't be my friend. <laughs> All right, no problem going through it. And it didn't really clean it up like it usually does, but yeah. There's still other stuff that was left on the blade from previous tests. Okay. Now, I'm filming this video May 21st, 2020. I went looking out there in the usual spots to get it, Amazon, Gerber, and Blade HQ. It's not listed on Amazon. On Gerber, it's retailing for 31 bucks for the green, and there's a gray scaled one as well. The green is sold out. On Blade HQ, where I bought this guy, 
$26.95. It has yet to be reviewed on any of those three platforms. I will tell you, I got it because of the weirdness factor of it and the eh, the weird part. Yeah, it just looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's going to go into my everyday rotation, to be honest. I, I don't know. But I'm also at that fun part of the video that I love where I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. You know, I want to know, do you think she's a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I got it for the nifty. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be carrying it all the time. I may go back to another company's blade. I've been carrying it for about a week now. Feels good in the pocket, but it's that opening and yeah. Okay. So for you first time viewers of the channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube right now, especially with all of us being in quarantine at the moment. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my first question is why. Why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription. I mean, it's kind of like my job, right? I give you good quality content. Hopefully, you're going to give me a like, a subscribe, and view time, right? I don't know. Isn't that how that whole YouTube thing works out? But still, leave me a comment what I can do to earn your subscription. And, you know, be constructive. Let's see what we can do to get that done for you. All right? Now, after you've done that, Take a look right here. You're going to see a big old channel symbol popping up. Go and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out of the way, please, if you so choose, destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that is going to enable you to be notified every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those great videos, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Gerber Ayako, Ayako, A-Y-A-K-O. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day and you're staying safe out there.